Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you or give you an introduction to the progression builder inside Scalar 2. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside the UM and let's click on the plus sign and create an audio channel and uh, so let's select Scalar 2. Okay, it's just simple, like so, and let's select it and then uh, Click on it to open it up and double click on it on the title bar to maximize it. So the progression builder is what you see in section C down at the bottom. Okay, you have uh, the possibility to create different patterns. Okay, by default you have pattern one, but you can click on the plus um, button to create additional patterns. Okay, and you can also select them like so. Okay, you have uh, at the bottom here the list of chords or rest, which I will explain in a moment for each of the pattern. You can play the pattern also set in a, in a loop mode. You can have a suggestion for different uh, chords, which I will explain in an upcoming tutorial. You can save also the progression and the state and also do a MIDI capture as well. And also here, as always, as in other section, you can also do a, a binding or a... Uh, MIDI bind. Okay, so let's let me show you how you can add some code. Well, the first way would be to just detect some codes. Let's click on the detect button and let's play something on the keyboard. Something like that. Let's stop detecting. So we have a number of codes here, including a note. Let me show you also that um, um, what become really handy with uh, progression builder is also to use the shift key here, the shift button. So click on it and you see that there are highlighted parts and the highlighted parts is where you can click and have additional option. So let's click on that C and it will give you some option to select all the chords, convert it to unison chord, convert all the notes to unison chord, to remove and to remove all notes. Let's click on remove. So we remove that note C, okay? That's a nice way. Now let's click on the shift again and then let's click on that C major chord. Now you find all, and add some additional option here, add to, like a sub menu, click on it, and then you have some option like add to current pattern, add to a new pattern, add to a specific pattern, or replace the current pattern. So let's add that code to the current pattern. So you can see that code has been added to the current pattern, which is pattern number one. Let's, let's click shift again, and let's go to the second code up here. Let's click on add to, and let's say again, add to current pattern. Of course, what you can also do is click and drag and drop on the plus sign. Okay, in that case, you just inserted that code. And that's something that we have seen also in previous tutorial. Now, let's select the scale like so. We see the triad there, really nice. Now, let's um, click on the shift button again. Let's select that F major here. Let's click on add to, but this, one, this time we're going to select add to new pattern. You can see there is a, a pattern two is empty, but pattern three contains that's the code, uh, that code that we have uh, selected to add to a new pattern. Now, if I want to get rid of that pattern two, well, it's very simple. So shift, select on pattern two, and then click remove. So as you can see, the shift key is really, really powerful. Okay. So let me show you a little bit more. So shift on that G major chord, add to, now now we can say add to specific, and then we can say add it to pattern frame. That's fine, the code is being added there. Or let's click on the shift button again on the minor chord, add to, and then we say replace current pattern. And in that case, we replace the current pattern with only that code which has been selected. Now, I've, I've, I've shown you in a previous tutorial that you can, uh, click and drag from our side, select one chord or also multiple chords like so, and then you can drag and drop them. Click on the shift key, um, click on the code, and then you can say remove all three, select all chords, or you can say add to, to the current pattern. And all of them will be added automatically. So that's a nice handy way to do that. Now, where do you see a plus sign here? Click on it and then it will say rest here and it will move to the code mode where you can create a code yourself. So let's say that we do like so and we create a G um, minor code, which is down there. Now, if you go back to, to the main view, okay, you see that code which has been added in. And of course, it's not part of that C major scale. 
of course. Okay, so that's a nice way to actually add um, a code, but I will have a dedicated tutorial on how to edit, create code, etc., etc. Or simply, you might want to click on it and just leave a rest. So you go back to the main menu, you have a rest so that it will not be placed. So let me show you. And if you have in loop mode, you can hear that it will have a rest there. Something else as well, you can act on drag and drop, direct, drop directly in the codes here in the progression builder. So if you click here and drag, so let me just try again. Here we go. If you stop right at the front of the next code, you can swap them. Or if you go next, you can copy them. Okay, like so. There you go, copy. So that's a nice way. So you can drag and drop and you can swap code between each other or you can also copy them as well. So that's a really, really nice way to actually start creating your uh, your pattern. One more thing I want to show you for this introduction is you can change naming. So let's go to pattern number one, click shift and go to pattern number one and click edit. Here you can say, for example, I just made, made this up, intro, like so. Then we go to the second one, shift, oops, shift, click on the pattern, edit. And this is what we're going to call reverse again, just uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. So you can see I have created, uh, I've changed now the names of those buttons. And that becomes really powerful because next, as I will show you in some of the upcoming tutorial, if you click on part, you can see uh, you have your intro, all the codes and your verse, all the codes as well. So that's a nice way to actually give more sense to actually the patterns that you are creating, which uh, will become extremely useful as um, you progress uh, moving forward. Now, there are other things, of course, you can do from the shift button. So let's explore some more. You can go to the verse here. You can remove it. You can clear it so the pattern will still be there, but it will be empty. You can go into the texture mode and it will replace what you have there. You can duplicate it as well. You can edit it as I have shown you now to change the name. Or you can create a command to navigate to pattern two in this case. And I'll show you that in an upcoming tutorial. Okay, so that was just a quick introduction on how to use the progression uh, builder. And um, from now on, it's useful that you start to use also the save button, click on save. And that is where you can now say save the full session with the selected sound and, and other parameters or save the individual patterns as code set. You give it a name, press OK, and then it will be saved and it will be accessible from the user code set here. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and find it useful. So see you next time. Bye.